Hello everyone. Today let's learn about the fundamental principles of multiplication and addition which are very important in the permutation and combination chapter. So let's start with an example. So a hill station has two waterfalls and four gardens. A tourist wants to visit a waterfall and a garden. Note the word and we are using. The tourist wants to visit both the waterfall and the garden. Okay. So in how many ways can he choose? Okay. So let's name the waterfalls as W1 and W2 and there are four gardens. So let's name this as G1, G2, G3 and G4. Now suppose the tourist starts by visiting W1 waterfall. Now after he visits W1, he has to visit a garden. So suppose he either can visit G1, G2, G3 or G4. So how many combinations have we got? W1, G1 is one combination. Now why is this together? Because he has to visit both the waterfall and the garden friends. That's why we have combined it. So W1, G1, W1, G2, W1, G3 and W1, G4. So here I have four choices. However, he can also opt to go to W2 waterfall. In that case also, after he visits W2, he has to visit garden. So he, had, he will visit either G1 or G2, G3 or G4. So again, how many combinations? Yes, we have got again four combinations. Let's list them down. So totally friends, in how many ways can he choose? He can choose in eight ways. So he can visit a waterfall and a garden both in eight ways. So what we have just now demonstrated is also known as the fundamental principle of multiplication. So shall we see what is the principle? So friends, this is the statement of the multiplication principle. I'll compare it with the example so that we can understand this better. Now it states that if there are two jobs, so here also we have two jobs. What are they? The first job is visiting the waterfall. And the second job, can you tell? Yes, it's visiting the garden. Okay, there are two jobs such that one job can be completed in M ways. So visiting the waterfall can be completed in how many ways? Two ways because there are two waterfalls. So my M is two. Now, after it has been completed in any one of these M ways, the second job that is visiting the garden can be completed in N ways. Now, there are four gardens, so I can visit the garden in four ways. So my N is four. So what the principle states is, the two jobs can then be completed one after the other. Remember, they have to be done one after the other in m multiplied by n ways. That is, 2 multiplied by 4, which is 8 ways. See, we got the same answer, friends, by listing out the combinations. But by using the principle, we can directly get the answer without, you know, listing out all the combinations. So one thing to note is that whenever you have in the question, two jobs which are combined using the word and then always remember the multiplication principle will come into play because and means multiplication that way you can remember and also one more important thing is that the entire job is completed only if you complete all the sub jobs so here the job is completed only if the tourist visits the waterfall and the garden now this principle can be extended to any number of jobs so let's consider that example also suppose you have four pencils two erasers and three sharpeners you need a pencil and an eraser and a sharpener for your pencil box so now remember we are combining all this using and okay in how many ways can you choose so let's list down what are the jobs here job one is choosing a pencil right Similarly, job 2 is choosing an eraser and job 3 is choosing a sharpener. We have to choose a pencil and an eraser and a sharpener. So, wherever and comes, what should you do? You should use the principle of multiplication that is multiply the different choices. Okay, so I have 4 pencils. So, 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 which is nothing but 24. So there are 24 ways of choosing the pencil, eraser and sharpener. So friends I hope the multiplication principle is clear. Now let's also see the principle of addition. 
So let's consider the same situation where the hill station has two waterfalls and four gardens but now the tourist wants to visit a waterfall or a garden. Note the word or we are using. In how many ways can he choose? So remember that he has to visit either the waterfall or the garden. So here again there are two waterfalls and there are four gardens. So either he can visit W1 or he can visit W2 or G1 or G2 or G3 or G4. So can you guess friends how many options are there? Yes, there are six ways he can choose to visit either a waterfall or a garden. Now what we did just now is known as the fundamental principle of addition. So let's quickly see what the principle states. Friends, this is the statement. So again, let me compare it with this example. There are two jobs. So here again, you have two jobs. One is visiting the waterfall. The second job is visiting the garden. Okay. Now, one job can be done independently in n ways. So I can visit the waterfall in how many ways? Independently in two ways. See, there are two waterfalls. So n is two. Then the other job can also be done independently in n ways. So I can visit the garden in four ways. So my n is four. Then what the principle says is either of the jobs can be done in n plus n ways. So two plus four, that is six ways I can visit either the waterfall or the garden. So without listing out the combinations, just by using this principle, I have got the same answer friends. So I hope you understood this principle. The main thing to remember is the keyword or. Whenever you have the jobs connected by or then always remember to use the principle of addition. Also, the entire job is completed if one of the jobs is also completed. You don't have to do all the jobs. Again, this principle can be extended to any number of jobs. So here is the same example as before, but now you need to choose a pencil or an eraser or a sharpener for the pencil box. Note the word or that is being used. So in how many ways can we choose? Yes, we have to use the addition principles. There are four pencils here, two erasers and three sharpeners. We have to choose only one of them. So four plus two plus three which is nine friends. So there are nine ways of choosing one of these items for the pencil box. Remember and means multiplication and or means plus sign. So if you found this video useful, do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.